So welcome back to another day or episode of Adventures with Sammy. Um, today wasn't much of an adventure. It was it was sort of delightfully bland. He's really settled. And, you know, you can see there's his lovely trot again to the left. And he seems to have that down pretty well pat. He says, I have enough of that. Let's go this way. Pretty good. Sometimes it gets as good as it does to the left. This wasn't one of those times. He's just sort of falling in a bit. But I fiddled with him. And we got him going around pretty good to the right, too. And did that for a while. And then I, there I am. I just decided to get back on him. We didn't film the mounting this time, as we had no more com comedy stylings of Sammy. He just stood there, and I got on, and off we went. So it's nice to have these dull days of training. It tells you that your horse is sort of used to it. And, and he feels very different to me now when I sit on, sit on him. Uh, when I first got on him, he definitely noticed my weight. And I think I mentioned he felt very much like a really true greenie. But now he's, he's just fine with me. He's used to it. He's figured out how to balance me up there um, while I'm riding him. And it looks very dull and uninteresting, I'm sure. But um, in fact, it's, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm being more aware now of his stiff and hollow side. It's, it's a little bit more obvious because he's, he's just steadier in your hand. So when he's sort of wobbling around, you can't quite figure, feel it. But when he's going along like this, things work pretty well. So while we're sitting here watching pretty boring, which is a good thing. Uh, just walking around, changing bend, keeping our balance, working out the stiff sides. There you see, he got a little stiff. He had inverted a bit, and then there we got, no, we're still inverting it. And somewhere around here, he figures it out and goes back to a correct bend. I think that's it there. Or maybe that's it there. But it's pretty subtle stuff. The important thing uh, for me on him today is is that he just feels like a regular horse. He's not, you know, he was he was pretty bonkers when I started working with him. I don't know if you re well you, you you might remember the lounging and the the craziness about the canter and everything else. And here he's kind of like laid back and just we're just meandering on. In fact, I'm thinking about asking him to trot throughout this. And he's like, eh, not really. And I'm like, well, think about it some more. And I didn't make a big deal of it. I think uh, tomorrow, if I get back out tomorrow, we'll, we'll probably get into the trot. We'll at least be doing a lot more transitions. If you won't go from a walk to trot, we'll do a lot of walk to halt to walk. And eventually we'll get him into, into the trot gear. I'm not at all upset that he seems to want to take a little extra time and just be really settled and comfortable in, in this, well, just walking around comfortably. And um, because I want him to know that his comfort is of paramount importance to me. That doesn't mean that he gets to just walk around for the rest of his days, but it means I'm willing to give him a little time, maybe an extra day or so. He's going much better in the right to the right now than he was just a, you know, a minute or so ago. And he's going to be quite good fairly soon. He gets a little deep, a little behind. It's okay. It's very typical when horses are used to going above and being stiff and racy. They, they're going to get a little curled up. But I'm not pulling backwards on him. He's just sort of going out and down and around. And it's just typical of the breed. People get all upset if they see a horse on a long frame and he's a little behind the, the vertical. Because you're not likely to see that with a, a lipizzaner uh, who has a neck about the size of this horse's body. 
But for these long, skinny thoroughbred types, it's it's no big deal. It's not that he's he's compressed at the pole. It's that he's down at the base of the neck. You know, if you look along from the withers, he's putting his neck straight out from the withers. If his pole was up and he was behind, that would be an issue. But anyways, we don't have to deal with that today.